What's going on everybody? Action Figure Expert here, bringing you guys a review on Darth Malgus right here from the, from the Star Wars Vintage line. There's a nice Star Wars Expanded Universe logo right up there with a nice black card. There's artwork of Darth Malgus. You can make him out right there. There he is in the bubble. Right there. Ooh, uh, character debut. Never before offered as a figure. Uh-oh. For nostalgia purposes, they put the Kenner logo down here on the packaging because Kenner used to produce the Star Wars figures back in the back in the 80s. Not too much about the back of the card. It just shows a few other figures that are part of the line. Vintage collection number 96 right there. But, uh, enough of the package. Let's see what this figure is like out of the bubble. Alright, let's take a close look at the detail on Darth Malgus right here. Uh, let's start off from, from his head right there. Make out the nice detail on that light gray that light gray head right there, a little wash, like a darker gray wash in there. Check out the uh, the wrinkles on his forehead there. It's pretty nice. He's got the respiratory mask on his face right there. Nice big shoulder pads. Make that out. I love all the gear that's on his on his arms right there. All the electronic controls and stuff. Check out the detail on it. Red, silver. Check out that chest plate. It's pretty cool. I love the padding on his arms and his legs all around there. Got this nice soft goods cape right here instead of a plastic cape. Overall, pretty well detailed figure. Pretty, pretty good. Comes with one lightsaber hilt right here. As well as full on bladed lightsaber. I like the lightsaber with the, uh, if you see the end of the hilt right there. The sharp points. On top of that, uh, on top of him having just that cape right there, it also comes with a full on uh, hood right here which you can put around him like that and it's actually got a wire into it so you can position the hood as you want it to be uh, all right let's go over the articulation on him start from the feet right down here he's got hinge uh, ankles down there like that as well as them being able to swivel that he's got hinges single hinge on his knee right there as well as it being able to turn so about like that unfortunately he's just got a, what's called a T crotch right here where all his legs can really do like that up there like that he's got waist articulation simple swivel he's got swivel at the wrist he's got Hinge on the elbows, as well as a swivel, and a hinge and a swivel on the shoulders. And ball jointed head. Overall, pretty good, pretty cool figure. From uh, from one to ten, I definitely give him a a full on ten. You know, if you if you, if you really love Jedi and Sith figures, you know guys with lightsabers, I highly recommend hunting him down. One of the coolest looking Siths I've seen so far. And then uh, the let's see this extra hilt right here. There's a little hole right there on the on the uh, 
on the back left of his belt line right there. There's a peg on the hilt. You just plug that in to him right there like that. So, yeah, there's my quick little review on Darth Malgus on the Star Wars Vintage line. Like I said, 1 to 10, I definitely give him a 10. Uh, I myself have died down from Star Wars figures, but uh, Darth Malgus, since I don't think they'll ever make him again, and since they've never made him before, and I love Sith figures, I went ahead and picked him up. So, yeah. Action Figure Expert, signing out. Peace.